No, I don't have children. No, I'm not Australian. Yes, I am still obsessed with the Australian kids TV show Bluey. Today, I'm putting that obsession to use by turning a miniature room kit into a replica of Bluey and Bingo's bedroom. I started off by just assembling the base of the room kit. It came with a printed floorboard design that was pretty similar to the floor that Bluey and Bingo have, but the wallpaper was nowhere close, so I quickly designed the wallpaper digitally and printed it off. Now it wouldn't be Bluey and Bingo's room without their watermelon rug, and since punch needle is very much like rug gunning, but slower, I decided to make a punch needle rug. I drew the design on some monk's cloth, made the rug out of acrylic yarn, used some flooring adhesive to secure the threads in place, and then shaved down the piece. Loads of people don't like shaving punch needle, but I thought it really worked for a miniature rug. I used a lint roller to collect all the loose yarn and then back the rug with some velvet and it was ready to go in the room. Next, I started working on the bookshelf that goes in between Bluey and Bingo's bed. Now, the kit that I used came with pieces for a bookshelf, but it was a floor to ceiling bookshelf, so I cut the pieces down to about a third of its original size to fit in. And it wasn't until I completely finished the bookcase that I realized the height was fine, but it was way too wide. So I used some offcuts to make a smaller version and that one fits so much better in the space. Then it was time to start making the things that go onto the bookshelf, which I studied really carefully to get the details right. Bluey and Bingo have this stack toy that I made by filing down balsa wood. They also have a framed photo of themselves, so I drew out the exact picture from scratch, printed it, and popped it into a frame made of balsa wood and plastic. They have three books on their bottom shelf, so I used more balsa wood and paper to make those books. Balsa wood was pretty much my best friend during this project. And I wouldn't be a Bluey fan if I forgot about Lampy, their Himalayan pink salt lamp. This kit came with a working light for a wall lamp, but I decided to use it for Lampy. I made the actual salt lamp part out of translucent polymer clay using a faux crystal technique, built that around some greaseproof paper, and removed the paper after baking to leave me with a lampshade. Then it was just time to start filling the shelf with all of the things I made. I then moved on to the stained glass window piece that they have, which I made using some shrink plastic and Posca pens. Their stained glass window is in a wooden frame, so in came trusty old balsa wood again. After roughly cutting it down to size, I glued it to the window pane and then used a nail file to sand it and finish it off before using some wood stain for the final shade. Now it's time for the bedding. I designed the bedding digitally and then printed the designs onto cotton fabric so it would look and feel like a real bedding set. I ironed my cotton onto some freezer paper to make it printable, then peeled the freezer paper off. It was very satisfying. I used fabric glue instead of sewing the bedding together, just because it was quicker. I made the mattresses out of yet more balsa wood with some felt padding. I left the duvet covers empty and stuffed the pillows with leftover felt that I cut into tiny pieces. I built the final beds out of, you guessed it, more balsa wood and used some little wooden balls on the bedposts to recreate the vibe of the show. Then it was just time to fill the room. Bingo has her pink mattress, Bluey has her blue mattress and they each have the appropriate bedding. And of course, I couldn't forget the glow-in-the-dark stars. I designed this sheet digitally and cut it out on my Cricut using some glow-in-the-dark vinyl. And now Bluey and Bingo are ready to chill out in their room, read some books, and go to sleep. And I'm ready to go watch some more Bluey.